Hi, and welcome to the finale portion of these tutorials. Uh, the first thing you'll need to do, aside from making sure that Finale and VDL are installed, is go and pick up an appropriate version of the VDL template for the version of Finale that you're using. I'm using Finale 2011, so uh, I picked up the 2011 template from therightscore.com. And that's right as in you would write music, not right as in the opposite of left. So I went ahead and unzipped the contents of that uh, template zip file here. You can see I've got a few different folders and a few different files. Uh, the goal of this video will be copying some of these contents of these folders over to appropriate locations on our computer. Now that location will depend on whether you're using a Mac or Windows and which version of Windows you're using. Now those particular locations, uh, they call them the common folder in the template file, or in the template readme rather, that can be found here in this PDF. Uh, they can also be found here on these on-screen locations that we'll put up as we kind of start working along. Um, but with no further ado, let's go ahead and start copying some stuff over. As far as the actual files, uh, we'll kind of go into more definition of what they are when we actually get into using them and writing music. Uh, but the first will be the template files, which is the actual files into which you'll be writing music. I've got a battery indoor and a uh, outdoor version there. So let's go ahead and say edit, copy. We'll start with these. Now the common folder is going to be, uh, on at least on a Mac, will be your user folder and library, application support, Make Music, Finale 2011, and the template files will go under Music Files, Templates, and I generally like to create my own, my own folder for the VDL templates. There we go. Now I'll right click over here, Paste. All right, cool, so those are good to go. Let's go ahead and back on out here. Libraries will be next. Library files. Choose your poison. Mac or Windows. All right. Go up to edit. Copy. Or you could obviously just hit Command C. I'll come back down here. And rather than clicking in the white space there, I'm just going to come up to edit and paste. So there we go. Those are now copied over. And last but not least, come over here to XML files. Go ahead and select all of these. Same deal as before. Edit, copy. Now these will go under the MIDI device annotation. And basically what these files do is take all the VDL instruments uh, in the sound library and map each of those sounds to uh, particular notes on a MIDI keyboard as we kind of touched on a little bit uh, earlier in the Contact Player 2 tutorial. So that's it for this video. In the next video we'll actually get into Finale and uh, start doing a little bit of work and getting our score set up. So we'll see you next time.